Are new details emerging at this hour about a babysitter's defense after being charged in connection with the death of a one year old boy that she was supposed to be looking after? I news reporter Shannon Kettler at today's court hearing, and she's join, joining us now live from the newsroom with more information. Shannon. And the defense attorney for Marquita Birch said the one year old boy accidentally fell down some steps, injuring himself while in her care. This new information was met with skepticism from the victim's family who attended today's court hearing. This morning, Birch faced a Hamilton County judge for an arraignment hearing. Her attorney said after one year old William Cunningham fell, Birch gave him ibuprofen and then put him to bed the next morning when she went to check on the little boy he was dead this according to Birch's attorney now this allegedly happened at her apartment on Sheehan Drive in Hartwell last week on Friday night Birch told police the boy went missing behind her mother's Covington apartment that led to a massive search with multiple law enforcement agencies detectives say Birch then recanted her story and directed Cincinnati police to a Witten Road apartment the baby's body was found there Saturday morning in a hallway closet. Even if that were the truth, there were still some things that happened following William's uh, demise uh, that were very inappropriate, um, very inhumane, and uh, that still have to be dealt with. Um, when you are put in a position of trust and somebody trusts you uh, with their children, you know what to do in the case of an emergency. and. Um, so, you know, things should have been handled a lot differently than what they were, and, and this, this should have never happened. Now, Cunningham's family is in the process of setting up funeral arrangements at the Gwen Mooney, Gwen Mooney Funeral Home in Spring Grove Village. They are also setting up a memorial fund in Cunningham's name as well. As for Bert, she remains in jail on a half a million dollars bond. The investigation, I'm told, is still ongoing and more charges could follow. Lance. All right, difficult story. Shannon Kettler live in the newsroom. Shannon, thank you.